The first question is not what the motive and intention of the reshuffle, but whether or not um, the administrators uh, who are now the ministers and deputy ministers who are now put in <coughs> these new positions are, one, firstly competent uh, to fulfill these positions, but secondly, uh, we need to just look at cabinet reshuffles generally. Cabinet reshuffles uh, are, one, to increase efficiency and efficacy, but two, for a policy shift, uh, a, a, a shift in policy direction. And we need to ask whether or not uh, the president intends to drive a policy shift uh, with this cabinet reshuffle. So firstly, the one that stands out for me is the removal of, of, of Bladen Zamanda from uh, Ministry of Higher Education uh, and, and being replaced with uh, Ms. Klengwe Mkize as well as uh, uh, Buti Manamela as the Deputy Minister over there. Uh, that one is a very sore thorn for South Africans, particularly young South Africans, South Af young South Africans who will be voting in the 2019 elections, young South Africans who will make up more than 80% of South Africa's electorate come 2019. And that's the one that stands out most for them.